Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about the entomologist crop wise pest classification. I am going to tell you about the pest of sunflowers. So as usual, we have already listed out the names of the pest as well as their scientific name. And uh, the third row is their uh, uh, family and the fourth one is their order. So we can able to move for our uh, video. So the first one I am going to tell you about the capitulum borer, so which is a head borer, and uh, the scientific name is Helicoverpa armigera. So we have already know that the Helicoverpa armigera used to have a wide range of host, and uh, we have also mentioned it in each and every video. So because because it is an important pest in all the crops, and uh, while seeing about the symptom of damage, the larva which used to consume leaves in the early stage and move towards the capitulum once the host plant, which is the sunflower, used to get mature and it used to bore the grains as well as tunnel into the head, so which used to cause yield loss and in several cases it used to destroy the whole plant. So it is one of the major problem in sunflower. So while for identification of pest, so the egg which is said to be spherical in shape is a creamy white in color. So these eggs are said to be laid singly in the sunflower plant. So um, while seeing about the larva, the color variation which used to be from greenish to brown color and it also used to have dark gray lines on the body. Uh, so which is said to be uh, in a dark pale, um, pale color bands. So while seeing about the pupa which is said to be brown in color occurs in soil leaves and as well as crop debris. So now we can able to see the classification of adult so which is said to be a light palish brown with yellow stout moth. So the four wings which are said to be olive green to pale brown color and the hind wings which are said to be pale smoky white with broad blackish margins. So well we can able to see about the managements. So we can able to go as intercrop with green gram, orals, black gram, on groundnut and soya bean. So which mm, the main plant uh, of sunflower can be escaped due to these the presence of these intercrops. And also we can able to sow this plant with three to four lines of maize or jowar around the sunflower crop to monitor the presence of moth. So because the helicopter amateur which is said to be mainly attracted by the maize or jowar plants, uh, especially than sunflower. So yeah, we can able to monitor the presence of crop and we can able to go for integrated pest management for the helicopter amateur. So for monitoring, uh, we can also able to crop like so uh, crops like marigold at 50 plants per acre, which used to reduce the incoming of these moths because the ma uh, marigold, the scent produced by marigold, which you use it to prevent the entry of the moth in sunflower plant. So because um, we can also able to see uh, the presence by monitoring with the uh, help of paramo traps 12 traps per hectare for pest identification and also we can able to set uh, light traps at one trap uh, wait a minute uh, one trap per hectare uh, five acres so to know the range of pest incidents as well as to kill moth populations so we can able to move for an integrated pest management like release of parasitic like tychogramma species at 20,000 per hectare or per acre and brecon species uh, in the field level. So after when they were not controlled, we can able to move for chemical and pesticide uh, applications like monocrotopus 2.0 ml per liter of water or quilpus 3 ml per liter of water in per hectare um, and applied in the field. So these can be able to help them or else we can also go for integrated pest management like spraying of helicorpa amigera nectopolyhydrovirus in the field level at 250 LG plus uh, BT at 0 0.5 kg per hectare which is an effective control method of helicorpa amigera and also we can able to spray 5% of neem oil or 5% uh, neem seed kernel extract before the eggs are laying in the field. So the next important pest is Bihar hairy caterpillar in sunflower. So the scientific name is Spilosoma obliqua. So the symptom of damage where they use it, uh, young larva used to feed gregariously most on the under surface of the leaves and the capit caterpillars which used to feed on the leaves and in several infestation whole crop is said to be defoliated by this Bihar caterpillar. 
and uh, drying up of infected leaves in the is the main symptom we can able to see in this crop so while seeing the for the identification the eggs are said to be laid in cluster and also in the underside of the leaves larva which is said to be covered with yellowish to uh, black hairs and the pupa is said to be an abduct pupa but it is said to be covered with hairs and the adult which is said to be a medium sized moth with a erect abdomen so you can able to see that in the picture and also there is a white string numerous black spots present in the wings so the management practices for the bihar hairy caterpillar or deep summer plowing as well as we can also use well rotten farmyard manures and the ma or manures other manures so which can able to reduce by heating up the feed and uh, we can also go for an intercrop with the pg and p at uh, the ratio of 2 is to 1 is effectively reducing the insect attack in the sunflower field and also collection and destruction of larva at the young stages and the collection and destruction of egg moss is an effective method and spraying malathion 4% dust at 22-25 kg per hectare or pospolene 35 ec at 1000 ml per hectare is an effective against bihar hairy caterpillar and the other important pest is tobacco caterpillar which is uh, also known as podoptera litura is the scientific name uh, podoptera litura is also used to have a wide variety of host plants and uh, while seeing about the symptom of damage the which used to cause larva used to cause defoliation in the plants and the larva also feed on the developed seeds in capitula so which used to reduce the yield as well as in several cases it also used to destroy the whole plant and the whole field and the identification of pest where the eggs are said to be more um, appeared in mosses with the golden brown in the field level and the larva which is said to be pale green with dark markings and uh, the larva is said to be a gregarious feeder in early stages and uh, for identification of adult four wings which is said to be brown color with the wavy white markings and the hind wings which is said to be white color with the brown patches along the margins so it is the how the adult can be identified so for the management of spot of tra litura crop uh, insect we can able to use pheromone traps and the collection and destruction of egg mosses larva and damaged leaf is an effective method for controlling spot of tra litura or else we can able to go for the spray of 5% neem seed kernel extract uh, the spray must be probably in the evening which must be effective against this spot of tra litura or else we can able to spray spot of tra litura nucleo polyhedro virus at 250 lg per hectare for the parasitism of uh, parasiting the larvae so which is also an effective method and uh, we can also add 0.2% jaggery so which use it to even attract more of these uh, insect larvas and uh, we, can, we must also need to conserve spiders uh, cryposola and predatory bugs in the field so spray uh, and the final one is spraying chlorophyll pass or quinal pass at 2 ml per liter of water is said to be an final and effective method in the field level so and the next one is leaf hoppers so where the other name of leaf hoppers is jasmine and the scientific name is ambrasca devastans so while seeing about the symptoms of damage the adult and the nymphs which used to suck the plant so the infested plant which used to show pale pale yellow yellow color decoloration and in heavy infestation the which used to make the leaves turn inwards and the leaves which used to be lightish pink brown so these are the symptoms of jazet and uh, identification of the pest neem which is said to be pale greenish on which is almost translucent and warm and di diagonally but in adult which is said to be greenish yellow which shaped so it was i have shown you in the picture with a pair of black spot on vertex and uh, a yeah, black spot on each of the four wings is the characteristic nature of the adult leaf hopper so and the other one is bird damage so where the parakeet so which is a parrot and the scientific name is pistacula crameri so the uh, birds used to damage start from the milking stage and continue till the harvest stage they consume an average of around 152 seeds per day so while seeing about the identification of this par parrot it is said to be slime green parakeet which is used to have a typical short heavy deeply hooked with a red bill and there is a hollow space in the tree trunk uh, which is the nest of the bird 
so we can able to management is uh, the establishment of scarecrows in the field and also is boasting of crackers or carabit gun and uh, using uh, by these users we can able to scare these trees and uh, we must also able to destroy the bird nest in and around the field and also we can able to deploy two labors per hectare to scare away the birds and uh, pruning of and perching and breeding places and we can able to spray neem seed kernel extract uh, powder at 10 gram per liter of uh, water after seed setting which is used to ripple the boats so because they don't even like the taste of the neem seed kernel extract present in these seeds and also we can use bird proof nest around the field so which you, where we can able to stop the entry of boats in the field level so i have given the lecture notes in description so come out about the video and join us in the instagram page if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsa agriculture hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i will catch you up in next videos